Well, a new warning tonight about an old way to get high that's now gone viral on TikTok. That's right. We're talking about laughing gas or whippets, whatever you call it. It's back. Fox Five's Richard Giacobis with what you need to know about the dangers of nitrous oxide. If you guys never tried a strawberry nitrogen air freshener, you guys need to check this out. It's nothing new. In fact, this trend making the rounds on TikTok has been around for centuries. It's a cheap high. Cheap and easily accessible nitrous oxide, also known as laughing gas, the same laughing gas you get at the dentist's office. Years ago, it was called a whippet or hippie crack, legal to buy, but illegal to use as a high. So it's like, you know, laughing gas or nitrous oxide, likely. <laughs> And getting high by taking a whiff of nitrous is a dangerous new trend, mostly among college students who can buy the nitrous oxide cartridges used for whipped cream on Amazon for just 27 bucks. Kids pop them open and inhale to get that feeling of euphoria and in some cases, a jolt of energy. Something that could kill you. It's something that's highly intoxicating. It should just be along the same lines as like any other drug that you would do. According to a recent study from Yale University, students over in the UK are abusing nitrous oxide second only to cannabis, and it's a growing trend here in the U.S. as well. On the campus of Iona University here in New Rochelle, we spoke to some students who say the trend has already entered this college community. I definitely know some people that have been affected by it. Just get rid of it. It's got no use for like inhaling it. The most popular nitrous oxide, at least according to these college students, is something called Galaxy Gas. We checked it out, and yes, the website will warn users that they must be 21 or older to purchase and not to misuse the product. But once you're in, you can order large flavored whipped cream dispensers like Mango Smoothie, Tropical Punch, and Blue Raspberry. It's always been the most available because it's not a controlled substance, at least federally. Some states have tried to limit it. I just think it's really dangerous for the community. In New Rochelle, Richard Giacobas, Fox 5 News.